What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you all again. Just dropping in with your red box update for the day. Had a couple of things I wanted to go over, maybe touch on just briefly. And I always try to bring you just a little bit of value to this day discussion. So I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So let's be entertained. Let's get into Redbox. What do we want to talk about? What are we looking at? We will look at the day. We're going to look at this filing a little bit, and we're going to talk a little bit on CSSE just briefly because I saw a couple of comments that came in on my earlier video that I thought we should go ahead and address as well. Um, I do think that earlier video is more important than what we're talking about right now, but this one, at least I'm going to give you a little bit more. So I pulled up the uh, S4 filing with CSSE. It was uh, tagged on Twitter to me, and um, I, I saw what they were highlighting basically about the amount of shares that are out there and held, but uh, as I scrolled down a little bit more, what I wanted to bring out in this report says, Class A common stock and Redbox Class B common stock vote together as a single class, and accordingly, the Redbox majority stockholders own shares of Redbox common stock, constituting approximately 83.7% of the voting power of Redbox, which is more than the majority necessary to approve matters submitted to the stockholders of Redbox for a vote. Pursuant to the Redbox voting agreement, the Redbox majority holders have agreed, among other things, to vote their shares of Redbox in favor of any strategic transaction approved and recommended by the Redbox board. So, with that said, my thoughts are still leaning towards there's probably going to be a merger and it doesn't necessarily look like it matters what its stockholders have because they are still outnumbered. So I looked at that, I read through it, and um, I think I've been saying August 8th, but I was scrolling back through here. I read that one when I was half asleep. I think this one says uh, August. Uh, where's the date at in this thing? Oh, sorry to take your time. August 9th. So the completion of the merger is subject to approval by the stockholders of Redbox at a special meeting thereof to be held on August 9th. So if I said August 8th prior to this, I apologize. August 9th read that in my sleep and uh, I just took a stab at it so that's what we have there so not not the greatest news that we want to see but let's look at a couple other things so the next thing I want to look at is um, somebody did make a comment asking me about CSSE what do I think is gonna really go on there how's that all gonna play out do I think the price is gonna rise in CSSE post merger Let's look at CSSE because I think this is worth looking at right now. So if we look at CSSE, what has it been doing? It's been trending up, guys. So in all honesty, we know CSSE is high on the short squeeze score. And honestly, it's ran from $5.36 all the way up to, I mean, we have a highs here of that closed out at 873 890 so I mean this thing is already running could CSSE technically do a squeeze before the merge even happens and then you're stuck with CSSE post squeeze yes absolutely you could be do I think CSSE is possibly doing some sort of small minuscule squeeze at the moment um, looking at the way it's trending it could be yeah absolutely I mean we know it's high on the list to be one of those uh, possible squeeze plays it is trending nice it has a very strong flow to it right now just a gradual increase day after day it is on the move and uh, I'm not saying jump out of Redbox to jump into CSSE because I don't know what's happening but could people have already done that yeah absolutely they could have been like you know what Redbox is a little bit too risky now at this point and it's not trending in my favor and they could say that CSSE obviously is still going to be here no matter what happens with the merge do I think CSSE will come down a little bit once the merge actually happens? I do because they are inheriting the debt from Redbox. They have to make a plan. They have to come out with some sort of way to make that a profitable company, get their um, investment back to a degree, get Redbox back on track or whatever they want to do with it. going to cost them money, take them time, and just another avenue. So, you know, if it's not squeezing, if it doesn't squeeze then yeah, I do think that uh, CSSC might take a little bit of a hit whenever Redbox actually pulls through. 
and uh, goes ahead with that merge that would be my take on it but uh, you know if, if you're talking about squeezes it's unpredictable I don't know um, if both of them were just in a normal situation setting and uh, just being a merge between two stocks that weren't highly shorted and a bunch of uh, commotion going around them then I would say CSSC is probably going to take a little bit of a hit whenever that merger does go through Looking at Redbox, I've been saying it's coming below 5 because they want those puts in the money. Now I do think that since we are below 5, we just need to see what happens today and probably tomorrow. Come Monday, the puts aren't going to matter one way or the other. Um, at that point, they would either be very aggressive trying to get it down to the $2 range is where the next real amount of puts are, or they're just going to not care and let this thing breathe and air out. So I have been saying that there might be a little bit of a relief that comes into the play. And um, I don't know how big or how violent or if it's even going to be worthwhile. But there might be some sort of relief. And possibly we saw that coming in today. Uh, I thought it was going to probably hit 4 but it's made a little stop there right in between four and five at four dollars and fifty cents so it's not in the clear by any means it's still down here on the lower trend line and it has to make a make a statement you know get back out of this trend we want to see five dollars at least hold as support as of right now um, but we'll see where it goes from here let's look at the rsi real quick while i have you guys and we'll see if we can see anything good going on there on the one minute it is uh well it's cooling off on the one minute, five minute. Five minutes actually looking not terrible. I mean, we're seeing uh, higher higher lows come into play, right? There's your one low point. There's your next higher low point. It's just slightly higher. So we need to see if this is going to set a higher high at this point um, and keep that strength going. That would go ahead and force this into the longer time frames, getting a little bit of higher low action higher high action it's not anything crazy that I would get too excited about yet but on the 30 minute it is building a little bit on that MACD which is good to see the one hour still needs to flip back over but again slowly rising so it has a little bit of strength that's coming back into it is this going to be the relief I don't know you're gonna want to watch it see what happens but let's just go from there and keep an eye on this I mean it is nice to at least see it kind of mellow out right we haven't seen it even just do a, a little bit of sideways action for us first for quite a while I mean we had some days that it was just pinned there I don't I don't know and then it just gave out and so let's see if this turns the trend it's it's trying to get back above the 13 there um, it's got some time it needs some time but let's just see if this actually gets a little bit of curl relief and a little bit of strength back into the play so that you guys can make a decision on whatever you want to do thank you so much for coming back and watching another one I appreciate it if you don't mind drop a like you can always subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the updates as always stay golden people and may your accounts stay green